Hey everybody, I'm Dano. You're watching the Dano channel. It is Veda Day number 6, April the 6th. May the 6th be with you? Question mark. You can tell it is nighttime. It's a little later than normal that I do these things. Because what I had planned, what I had in mind, didn't happen the way I thought it was going to happen. Uh, which is kind of the whole, I'm going to cross the street here, which is kind of the whole point of today's video, is that sometimes in life, things don't happen the way we plan them. Uh, earlier today, I got some interesting news about that whole Disney side video business. I don't even know if I'm supposed to tell you, but I kind of don't care at this point. But I heard some interesting news that my video, though I was told earlier, it was definitely going to be on the Disney Parks channel. The way it was shot or something, something. They couldn't edit it down without killing the story that I made. It will not be living on the Disney Parks channel. But instead will be living, I believe, on my own. I still have to confirm the uh, exact wording of the email I received earlier. I don't really know for sure what exactly they were going for. There was a lot of wishy-washy words. But I'm not mad. Like, it, it's just one of those things where it's like, okay, all right, I wish you would have told me sooner, but it is what it is. There's nobody out here. It's kind of nice vlogging late at night in the dark. I've got two phones. I got, you can kind of, there it is. There's my light. I have an old cell phone that I'm using for light, and I'm using my current cell phone to record the video. I'm talking to you guys about now, but sometimes in life, things don't go as planned. There's a police car that just drove by. I'm sure they didn't plan to see some dude talking to his phone in the middle of the night. But, <clears throat> it's, it's just kind of a recurring theme that I've kind of seen lately. Like some of these VEDA vlogs, I plan to do certain things. Like today's vlog, I was going to do something artsy. I actually planned on recording it yesterday. You hear that plane? Oh, the plane! Oh, see, I told you guys I'm getting good at nailing these planes. There it is. I'm going to keep it in the frame. Keep the plane in the frame over my big old hat. But uh, <laughs> I live near an airport, so planes all the freaking time. Um, but like I said, things don't always go as planned. I was planning on doing a uh, art piece and recording it last night after... All our Easter festivities. I gotta walk backwards here for a second. And I didn't get to do that because things don't always go as planned. And I think that's kind of a kind of a test on us, on our resilience, on how well we adapt to certain situations, is how well we deal with those unexpected changes. Now, personally, I like to think that I take them and I roll with them pretty well. A lot of people don't. Not everybody does. But I try to just roll with them as well as I can. Like this whole thing with the video. Now, unfortunately, my phone was dead earlier, so I didn't get a chance to uh, respond to the email. Because I'm just now getting a chance to record a video and do all that stuff. I had a friend who moved into a new house, went and visited him for a little bit. All the while, my phone has been dead. I can't record a video. Otherwise, you would have gotten to meet those beautiful, nice, fine people. There is another plane. Oh, the joys of living by an airport. But things, like this is one more time, things don't always go as planned. So, I just kind of wanted to make today's video kind of about that. Let me move the camera here for a second so I can make sure I don't trip as I meander my way towards the desert. Things don't always go the way you think they're going to go. And you just kind of have to adapt to it. You just got to take what's given to you and keep rolling. Oh, there's a car coming. They're probably wondering, what's this crazy guy doing talking to a bunch of cell phones holding his elbow out in the air like he's somebody important? Well, gosh darn it. I am somebody important. But they don't know it. None of them know it. And I might not be important to them, but important to me. 
I'm important to my children. I'm important to that apartment complex over there because I help make sure they get money every month. There's another plane. Told you, living by an airport. Oh man, try being a YouTuber who lives by an airport and tries to record videos regularly and you have to like alter your schedule to make sure you're not in like the runway path because it is a major PETA. That stands for pain in the airport. <laughs> oh, I lost my light. My light went away. Don't worry, I'm getting more light. Right. Meow. There's more. I turned it off. What happened? I lost my light. There it is, more light. But yeah, I just wanted to take a minute. <clears throat> talk about those times. Now, by the way, I'm still sick. I'm still a little hoarse in the throat. A little buggery in the nose. But I didn't want to let it detract from me making my VEDA video. Even though it's like only 30 minutes left in the day. Day 6 of VEDA. Now there's like a whole schedule thing they've got on this uh, hashtag SSS VEDA. Savvy, sexy, social, or something like that, Veda, that I signed up on. But you know what? I'm not one to follow schedules. I'm not. I, I kind of do what I want, like always. I'm going to follow my own darn schedule. I'm going to talk about whatever I want. Because that's just how I roll. That's just what I do. Like, I don't... I mean, I might one of these days, like, jump on whatever they're supposed to talk about for that day. But for the most part, I'm going to just be doing my own thing, talking about what I want to talk about, just because it's the Dano channel, it's not the SSS Veda channel, that's another recurring thing I'm going with here, I gotta say, it's much nicer to be vlogging out in public in the middle of the night, when there are far fewer people, I don't want to be all shifty-eyed about it, <laughs> I love that a lot of you people uh, saw my first Veda video when I was out at the park, and I commentated, commented, commented, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> I made a comment about how it's always a little difficult when there's a bunch of people watching you, and you got to be like, oh, are they looking at me, are they not looking at me, what's what's going through their head, and you get taken out of the moment, because you're more worried about what they're doing, what they're thinking, than what you're doing, trying to talk to your audience and your people, and it just zaps you out of the whole freaking zone. And a lot of you people seem to relate to that and comment on it. And that's really awesome. Like, I'm really glad, like, I kind of struck a chord. Ooh, thumb in the shot. There's my thumb. I'm really glad I struck a chord with a lot of you. And a lot of people really seem to understand that and get that. And that made sense to a lot of people. And I mean, that's really cool. Like, it's really cool to be able to find other people who are participating in this whole VEDA thing. And really kind of, you know, we have that moment, that shared thought of... Yeah, man, it's kind of weird sitting here talking to a cell phone while other people in the background stare at you and you're like, what's that guy doing? What's he doing? And it, and it kind of takes you out of the video. And I like that a lot of other people commented on the fact that they can't record videos while their spouse or significant other is in the other room either. It's just weird. It's hard to do. It just takes you out of the moment. And it's strange. It's not, oh, I just walked into a plant because I didn't plan on it. I'm going to walk backwards so I can see the sidewalk kind of behind me because I know as I'm walking a little bit more towards the sidewalk back here, I'm going to hit a dead end. I'm actually purposefully walking towards a dead end. Maybe you guys can see way back there. There is the Las Vegas Strip. Let's see how close I can get to the end here. Now this I actually did plan on. Kind of. I just made up the plan right now. But it's somewhat, it's more of a plan than the rest of my day was. So here we go, I hit, oh look, there's no fence here. Oh, this is kind of nice. So way back there is the Las Vegas Strip. You can kind of see some of it. Let me move my big ugly mug out of the face. There, there we go, out of the frame. There's the Las Vegas Strip way over there. It's kind of a beautiful view. There's a lot of neat stuff to just stare at and look at. And it's, it's kind of nice to come just stand out here for a minute, think about your day, contemplate 
what's going on and just have a moment of like not zen i don't really believe in any of that kind of stuff but just have this moment of ugh, just i it's cool i get to walk across the street from my apartment come out here if i need to i don't do it as often as i should i've done it every once in a while but not as often as i should but just walk right out here and just have a moment to myself on the top of this mesa overlooking Las Vegas Strip and you can see a whole city out there you can see how big the world is kind of see how small I am which is weird because I'm a big dude I'm a really big dude uh, you guys can see in that video with my kids from a couple days ago I'm a pretty big dude Should probably lay off the hamburgers a little bit but uh, <laughs> yeah it's kind of nice to just see how big the world is that's kind of what I like about climbing those mountains and hanging out on top of those mountains is you get these cool really neat views where you get to see just how small the whole world is and uh, it's, it's just neat to sit back and kind of just take that in for a minute now guys it's been this is kind of a longer vlog this is more of a meaningful vlog talking about dealing with what happens when things don't go according to plan I didn't necessarily plan on this earlier today. I was going to actually rant about people not trying. I even tweeted about it earlier. You can follow me on Twitter, at Dano Flores, or Instagram, at Dano Flores. I mostly post my artwork up there. But I was thinking about earlier, because it's my Monday, I work with a bunch of Dringles, who, um, well, let's just, we'll just call them Dringles for the most part. And Monday, I kind of fly solo with one other idiot and another idiot. I mentioned earlier that I work in a pharmacy. So I've got a, a pharmacist who's not well seasoned, and my pharmacy manager who's different. I'm being nice, by the way. <laughs> who's definitely different. And it's kind of rough having to work with just those two on a Monday. And it just got me thinking about the whole have you ever dealt with people who don't try? These are people who say, oh, I'm not, I'm not computer literate. I don't know how to do that. It's like, well, maybe if you tried just a little bit, you could figure it out. But there's people who don't try. And I have this whole, like, rant in my head, this whole monologue ready to go. And I ended up not going with it. I mean, I, mean, I kind of went into it a little bit right now. But I ended up not making that the subject of today's vlog because I wanted today's vlog to be about dealing with oh I lost my light again see I didn't plan on that but I wanted it to be about when things don't go it's so dark you can barely see me but when things don't go according to plan I have a light gonna have a, a kind of light maybe it's still so dark still so dark again this I didn't plan for Let's put that light on. There I am. I'm back. I've lit up. This is the longest Veda vlog so far. Day six. Now, I'm wondering, do you guys like this vlog where I talk to you a bit more, kind of let you know what I'm thinking? Or do you like the more just random, do you want to see me just do artwork, paint things, put things on a shoe, talk about Disney stuff? Is that what you want to see? Because if that's what you want to see, let me know in the comments. I'd be glad to still do that. But I kind of like having these take 15 minutes out of my day, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, 13 minutes, and just talk to a camera, get stuff off of my chest, let you know what's going through my head. And we're just going to call that our Veda. That's, that's, that's it. We're going to vlog every day in April. Sixth day. Getting repetitive. Things don't go as we planned. But we keep moving forward. We end up at a beautiful site back there. Maybe you guys can't see it as well as I see it. But it's gorgeous. It's nice. I like it a lot. Also, I should probably shave one of these days. This is like the longest I've let my facial hair go. Um, I'm probably due for a, a shave. I don't normally go this far. You see me kind of actually seeing myself. I shouldn't do that. No, I should probably be clean shaven, maybe cut my hair. My grays are showing. My grays. I'm prematurely gray. I'm only 31, but I got the grays of a 50-year-old. Not good. Is what it is. I didn't plan on it. Let's see. There we go. I'm going to tie it up again. But guys, I just wanted to see, like, how do you feel? Like, how do you deal 
when things don't go the way you plan? Do you just take it and you keep rolling on? Do you get upset? Do you just lose your stuff and give up on everything? You're like, oh, I can't do it no more. I can't do it. Or do you just move on? Because in, in my situation with this whole Disney side video, a um, couple months ago, back in January, they invited, I'm just trying to walk down a curb here, but a couple months ago they invited me and a bunch of other YouTubers out to uh, Disney World to go film video to be on the Disney Parks channel, and I filmed a pretty badass video. I'm just going to come up and say it, I don't normally curse on this channel, but the video is pretty badass. Like, even, you know, for standards of what I normally put out, this video is really good. I just seriously watch it like four times right now going over it with my girlfriend, like, that was a really good video. And the cool thing is, you guys, you people here who are subscribed to the Dano channel, are going to get to see it, and I'm going to be telling other people to go to the Disney Parks channel, but you're going to get to see it here on my channel, and hopefully you guys, subscribers, new people who are around here, will take that opportunity and share it with everybody because of how epic it came out, and it's really good. I'm super proud of it. Like, I haven't been this proud of anything since my kids were born. And even that's questionable. No, I'm just kidding. I love them. Um, but they do anger me a lot, often. <laughs> um, this video will never anger me. Ever. So, you know, video one. Kids, zero. No, I'm just kidding. I love my kids. I'm just messing. Uh, but my camera did go out again. Or my light did. So let's turn that back on one more time. Light! We have light. See, again, I'm not, I'm not planning on losing my light every five minutes or so, but... I guess these cameras have an automatic timer. So, but here's the point. I keep moving on. You just, I don't get stopped by it. I didn't cut the video out because I lost light. I just kept rambling. I kept moving on. I'm still talking. This is the longest Veda of all the Vedas. Hopefully you guys have stuck around. You get to see that beautiful view that I just got to see. I'm going to make my way back home now. So I can maybe do a little artwork get to sleep, spend some time talking to my girlfriend about how her day went, tell her how awful my day went. But see that? That's still a big smile on my face. I'm not going to let it get me down because that's not how I work. Again, I'm being weird because I got a curb to walk up. Because that's it. I mean, just, I, I want to know how, how do you deal when things don't go your way? When things don't go the way you thought they were going to go, what do you do? I seem to be handling it okay, but I want to know how you guys handle it. Thank you so much for watching the Dano channel. This has been a weird, sick, scratchy voiced Vita Day number six. I love you all. If you're new here, subscribe to the Dano channel. This is definitely the weirdest Vita Day vlog of all the Vita Day vlogs. But don't worry, it's going to get weirder. Promise. That is definitely a promise. We got a bunch of weird stuff coming up next week. We got Star Wars Celebration next week. We got hanging out with a bunch of other cool YouTubers next week, which will be a lot of fun. And there will be more weird Vita vlogs coming up. But you won't see them unless you're subscribed to the Dano channel. So click the big red button. Give this video a big thumbs up if you know what I'm talking about. When things just don't go the way you planned. Again, I love you all. And I will see you tomorrow. For Veda Day number seven? That's awesome. yeah. I'm standing in Cinderella's shower. <laughs> That's so cool, but it's neat. Like, no one 